to my week 27 slash 28 bump dates. Um, for week 27, baby was the size of a camping lantern. Oh, where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. So here is a camping lantern. And one day after the baby's born and he's old enough, we're gonna use this camping lantern when we go camping. Because um, Jamie's never been camping either. So yeah, so for week 27, that was the size of the baby. Week 28, baby is the size of a rollerblade. I have this inside my body right now. I mean, he's more folded up and squished, but that looks uncomfortable. Um, for how am I feeling? You know, I feel pretty good and tired. Sleep has gotten really hard for me. Um, I don't really know why. It has nothing to do really with any discomfort, but it's just like I struggle sleeping. Um, throughout the night, I toss and turn and I just feel like I never really get into that like deep sleep. And I have officially entered the phase of pregnancy where I'm waking up like at least once and it's between like four and six in the morning which I'm usually definitely up by six for work or before six. Um, but there's been a few times where I've woken up in the two o'clock or three o'clock hour to have to go pee. Um, what has helped with how I'm feeling? I just take it easy. I just listen to my body. Like if I need to like, you know, sit down or relax, I just do. I don't try to push myself. I don't overexert myself just because it's not worth it, um, honestly. And I have to consider that I'm carrying a baby and I don't want to stress him out either if I get too overworked or anything like that. Um, Things we've learned about baby these weeks. He continues to swallow and excrete amniotic fluid to practice breathing. Cochlea have developed in his ear in his ears, contributing to his sense of hearing. He continues to practice functions like coughing and dreaming. He has enough fat to almost regulate his body temperature. He's developed eyelashes and he weighs about two and a half pounds. Um, my cravings, this, well, my craving for week 27 was actually pretty weird because I used to eat honey bunches of oats with coconut milk, but for some reason I just really, really wanted that this week. Then for week 28, Guys, we have entered triple digit weather in Vegas, so I literally just crave anything cold. Um, ice cream, slushies, shaved ice, iced tea, lemonade, ice water, just ice. I, anything that is cold going down, I'll take it. Um, our celebration this week, so we've actually, we're celebrating one of our friends that we know, obviously, because they're a friend, but um, <laughs> somebody that we know went through egg retrieval one time before, quite a few months ago, um, and unfortunately, her results for the, her first egg retrieval, um, they did not turn out very well. And then she went through her second egg retrieval. She got four healthy embryos um, PGS tested and so we're celebrating that with her and her transfer is July 18th so everyone just send her positive vibes and um, wish her you know the best and all the baby does that she gets a big fat positive um, and then for our number game this week for week 28 we came up with 28 reasons why we're excited to be parents, and we did 14 each. We have some that are along the same lines. Um, so my 14 are experience the unconditional love of a child, uh, raising hopefully a good person, hopefully we teach him how to be kind and giving and accepting, um, and just overall be a good person. 
Uh, number three, meeting and knowing someone that's the product of Jamie and I, um, and obviously with the help of a donor, but um, just kind of like environmental and just, you know, personality wise, like what we, you know, how we contribute to his little personality. Um, watching Jamie become a mother, she is so spazzed. She's so spazzy about the whole um, parenting thing and the baby, and it's it kind of it, it's exciting to see her get like excited about the baby and like being like an overanalyzer. Like she's counted the diapers and she's researching baby monitors and you know wants to know every little thing possible. But ultimately, it's just gonna be fun watching like the instincts kick in for her. Um, growing as a person, number six, family trips. Uh, Jamie and I like to travel. We like to go visit people. We like to take little road trips. So I'm excited to have, um, you know, a new little addition to our trips. Uh, number seven, I am looking forward to any sports clubs or activities that he is into and being able to cheer him on. Um, number eight, squishy baby cuddles. Number nine, I'm really looking forward to the random things he will say. Um, especially with him being our child, I cannot wait to see the things he comes up with. Um, in the future, you know, just the crazy things that toddlers and young kids say. I am really looking forward to that. Um, number ten is seeing how Jamie and I will shift as a couple, how we will support each other, and kind of how we will grow in, in our marriage. Um, number 11, teaching him to care and be passionate about things. Um, number 12, I am looking forward to naming him. We, personally, I think we're probably pretty close to him having a name. Um, I'm resisting it because I'm scared I'm going to change my mind when he's born, but I don't know what I would change my mind to. So I'm really excited for him to just have a name for sure. Um, number 13, I am looking forward to family costumes for Halloween, which by the way, he'll approximately, depending on the time he's born, be about a month old this Halloween. And um, I am looking for family costume ideas so if you have any of those drop them below um and then number 14 for me is disneyland i cannot wait to take him to disneyland we're already planning a trip <laughs> within the first few months of his life obviously he won't remember that but i'm just gonna enjoy it jamie and i love disneyland um so we're looking forward to that then Jamie's 14 are number one, Christmas mornings and Santa pictures. Number two, Disneyland. Number three, to have somebody to leave a legacy to and with. Um, number four, somebody to keep her young. Um, number five, she wants to grow as a person, or she's looking forward to growing as a person and learning different aspects of life that she's never embarked on. Number six, she feels as though becoming a parent will force her to be fearless when um, you know there are times where maybe he's looking up to us it's, and she knows it'd be better to like show him an example of being fearless versus being you know afraid. Um, number seven, to grow our family and bond with each other. Number eight, to have another person to do chores. Um, we were joking about this because right now Jamie's really taking on a lot of housework, um, which has been amazing. She's been such a great support system um, and a great like wife and partner and just all the things that she's doing around ha the house, especially the cat litter. She hates the cat litter. Um, that was my thing before and since I'm pregnant I can't do that. Um, <laughs> so she made the joke to have somebody else help with chores but we really are looking forward to um, being able to teach him responsibilities and um, put him out into you know society as hopefully a 
somebody that is stand up and that can, you know, that has work ethic and understands how life works a little bit. Um, she said to be number nine is to be part of their milestones in life. Um, you know, when it comes to the first time he walks, to him riding a bike, to him learning how to drive, or graduating school, anything like that, getting married. Um, number 10, to teach him and learn subjects she didn't learn. Um, Jamie struggles with history and social studies and things like that. And so she's excited to be able to um, join him in learning, but also teach him like math and things because she's really good at that stuff. Um, she said number 11 for the pets to have a friend. And number 12, she said to watch me be a mother. Number 13, hide Easter eggs and color them. And then number 14, create family traditions. So that wraps up my week 27, 28 bump date. I will show you guys the ever growing bump. It seems like it just ha grows every day at this point. I gotta scoot you back a little bit this time. But yeah, so there's a little boy in there, size of a rollerblade, and it's popping out. Um, thank you for watching these. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the bump date and go follow us on Instagram at the Pal Tribe and Twitter at the Pal Tribe. Also, um, we've gotten quite a few new subscribers. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for um, joining our journey and to everyone that's been here since the beginning. Thank you as well. Um, we really appreciate having everybody's love and support. We're excited for things that are coming up and we cannot wait to share with you guys. We will see you next vlog and I will see you next bump date. Okay, bye.